So there are a lot of hard problems in network security. How do we build a PKI that authenticates people's public keys for communications? How do we achieve consensus in the blockchain without melting the plan with proof of work? So what I want to talk about now is a new hard problem nobody's been considering yet, which is email address portability. Why? Because that's the key to a decentralized web. Now, obviously, I'm not building a global identity system here. That'd be an exercise in futility. I'm just building a system that's going to work for my application, okay? So in the mesh, every user has a personal profile. That profile describes all their public keys. It's signed by their profile signature key. And the fingerprint of the profile signature key is used as both a unique identifier for the account and also an authentic authenticator for any assertion that is signed under that account. So all we need to do to affect change of address is to sign an assertion saying my service provider is example.com or example done that whatever and just upload it to a registry somehow that can keep track of all these and uh, like the PGP server used to in the uh, past. So sign the assertion, send it to the server, done. Well, no, it's 2021, the, the Harvester Netter patent has expired. So we're gonna use an append only notary log to keep the registry honest. And this means that instead of getting that response from the registry, everybody can get it from their mesh service provider. I explain why that's so important in the paper. So we've got an append only log, actually it's gonna be a Merkle tree like we did in certificate transparency. But once we decide to do that, we can trade in that fingerprint for a human readable name like Alice at no extra cost. Just hand them out. First come, first serve. And Alice can now be at Alice for life. And Bob can be at Bob for life. And at Bob can send a message to at Alice and achieve end to end security by pulling the key out of the registry and the registry is constrained by their own no truth chain. Very minimal trust. But minimal trust isn't zero trust. Let's lock that down as far as we can. And to do that, we're gonna use cross notarization because every mesh user and service provider also has a notary log. So what they're going to do is every user exchanges notary final values with their service provider. They both enroll the final value of the other in their own notary log. And now those notary logs are locked together. They're meshed together like gears. Alice does this, Bob does this, and all the mesh service providers then in turn do it with the call sign registry. And so the whole system is meshed together just like gears. We've achieved full consensus across our blockchain type thing, but without using proof of work or destroying the planet. Obviously, if this thing's going to take off, it's got to be public goods. But if it does take off and it works for the mesh, we can apply it to any other system just by signing the appropriate uh, contact assertion. Infrastructures created by use, not by saying we're going to create a global identity infrastructure. But if the mesh succeeds, you'll get one for free. For more information, go to mathmesh.com slash ITF 112. Thank you for watching and please read my drafts. Thank you.